hello and welcome to today's video so this is what we are going to be building today let me just run the code so i've been in the spam mode as you can see it's going to chrome and then i'm not typing anything and it's spamming my friend or my victim is spamming her the lyrics to a song everything i wanted by Billie eilish and i'm not typing anything it's spamming her by itself so this is what we are going to be building today a spam bot in python so let's begin hi and welcome to today's youtube video so in today's video, we are going to be building an Instagram spam bot using Python and the Py Auto GUI library. So we are going to first start by installing this library for ourselves on the on our computer system. So we're going to say pip install, sorry, pip install py auto GUI or py auto GUI, anyone. And then once you run this command, it's going to install it. I'm not going to run it because I already have the library installed on my computer. So the next thing I need to do is create a Python file uh, and open it with your code editor. Now, what exactly are we going to be spamming this uh, our victim today? So before this video started, I went to Google and I searched for the lyrics to a song, Everything I Wanted by Billie Eilish. When I found it, I copied everything I came back to my projects folder, I created a text file and I pasted everything. So this is the lyrics to the song 50 lines and we are going to be spamming this um, song line by line to our victim today. So basically our program is going to come to Chrome, it's going to go to, um, sorry, our program is going to come to Chrome and it's going to come to this inputs area here where you can type stuff. And it's going to type it line by line and send to this person. So, and everything is going to be automated. We are not going to be typing anything. So make sure you do all that. We are going to start by importing py auto GUI. Py auto GUI. So we we'll say import py auto GUI as part. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to import another library called time. So I'm going to say import time. So how exactly does py auto GUI work? So this library, um, PyAutoGUI, it does the things that we would normally do with our keyboard or mouse. That is what what what's what I mean by that. It can move the cursor around. It can type stuff for us on our computer. So basically, it automates. It can automate all that for us, and that is how we're going to be building this uh, program today. So the first thing I want our program to do is that we want it to be able to come to this icon over here. And then we want the next thing, the next thing that we needed to do is we wanted to come to this input space here and click it. So the first thing we're going to do is come here, click the icon, and next thing we're going to click this input space. So let's start building. How exactly can we get the position of different places on the screen? Now, this library works by getting the position of a particular place on the screen by getting where the um, cursor is. That is, if we say um, print parts dot position remember because we installed we imported pyoto gui as part if you run this command now it's going to get the okay sorry we need to put brackets here so once we run this command now it's going to bring out x and y coordinates now it's getting the exact position of where the cursor is presently that is this icon it's got the exact position of where it was at this moment so this is how this is exactly how we are going to get the position of this um, icon. Now, you notice that immediately we run the program, it goes the position immediately. So what we need to do is that we need to tell Python that um, we need to say time does sleep. And we need to say, okay, we need to sleep for two seconds. Let's change it to sleep. We need to sleep for two seconds so that I have enough time to move the cursor to where this um, icon is. So once we run this now, let me clear up the terminal. Once we run this, and I quickly move it there. You are going to see it has gotten the coordinates for where this icon is, which is um, x x equals 850 and y equals um, 748. So let's just comment this out. So now we've gotten the position. Sorry, uh, Control Z. Let's comment this out. 
and the next line also. So now we've gotten a position of where the icon is. How do we now actually click it? What we can say is we're going to say path.click and then what we need to do is pass in the X and Y coordinates. That is the vertical and the horizontal coordinates. So we're going to say X is equal to 850. That's from what we got in the terminal. And then Y is equal to 748. 748. So we're saying pass.click. If we run this now, it's going to, as you can see, it's automatically opened um, our um, browser for us. But we don't want it to be so instantaneous. We want it to give, we want to give it a duration where we can see the cursor actually moving to go and click it. So what we're going to say is we're going to give it a duration. And then we'll set duration to one. So let's save that. Once we, um, once we run this, um, sorry, once we run this command now, we can see the cursor actually moving to so click it. So now we have actually done the first step. The next step is to come here and click this uh, this um, input space here. So what we need to do is that we're going to comment this out also. And then we're going to uncomment this. So let's uncomment this. Sorry. Uh-huh. So once we've uncommented this now, we can actually get the position of where this place is. So I'm going to increase the time to the wait time to let's say three seconds so that I have enough time. So once I run it now, I'm going to quickly come here and you should get the position of this exact place. So you should have gotten it now. It should be more than three seconds already. So I'm going to go back and you can see it has gotten the, um, the, Coordinates. So I'm going to comment this out and uncomment this. So the next thing we need to do is that we actually need to tell you to go and also click that input space. So I'm going to paste the same thing but change the coordinates. So it says it's 54 and then uh, it's 54 and 653. So we're going to change the 653. And save this so once we run this now it's going to first go to our browser then it's going to come over there and you can see this is how it works now the next thing we actually need to do is actually write the code that is going to um, start writing and sending these messages to the to our victim so remember I said we have um, created this text file that has that, that this text file that houses all of the things that are going to spam the person so what we're going to say is, the next one we're going to say is that we need to actually open this text file in our Python um, file. So we're going to say file is equal to open uh, song.txt because that is the name of the file. And then I'm going to put it in read mode. Then the next thing we need to do is we need to say dot read lines. Dot read lines because we want to read it line by line because we want to send this line by line. It's going to read a line, write it in the input place and send it. So after read, read, I'm saying read lines, we now need to write a for loop. So we're going to say for i in file because we're saying that okay, we want to loop through everything, all the lines in this, um, all the lines in this uh, file and grab each of them one by one. So I say for i in file. Now the next thing we need to write is actually the code that is going to um, write each line inside this uh, input place here. So what we're going to say is we're going to say part dot type write t y p e dot type write. And what we need to pass in is we need to pass in what we want to write into that particular place. So I'm just going to pass in i since i is looping through all the lines and grabbing each of them one by one. So I'm going to say type right i, and the next thing we need to do is we need to give it a duration. I'm sorry, we need to give it an interval. That is how fast we want these words to be typed. So what we're going to say is interval, and let's just give it 0 0.25, and 0 0.25, and let's see how that is. And then the next thing we need to actually say is that, okay, after typing this thing inside the input place, now press the enter key so that it can be sent to the person, then run the for loop again. So we're going to say part does press, and in here we're going to put enter. 
in a string as a string so this is all the code we need to write all we need to do right now is to run our code and see how well it works so let me clear out the terminal once i press play it's going to go to the terminal it's going to go to our chrome go there and you can see it's already writing all the lyrics to this particular song it has written the first line i had a dream next line i got everything i wanted so as you can see you have built a fantastic spam bot using python so this is what uh, we plan to build if you like seeing content like this please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos thank you for watching and stay tuned